Okay, the very last thing we're going to do is add color to this picture. And once again, oh, wait a minute, what happened to my toolbox? If I click on the picture, there it is. But remember, this is also something under window. Here's tools. There, bye-bye, tools again. Hello! Where's my windows of layers? And there's the history. Oh, look, they're kind of docked together. They're hooked together. But I can pull this one. I can pull this one off. I can even bring it over here and make it a tab. So, oh, they're stacked that way. Let's see if I can get a tab there. So then I can flip back and forth. I find that annoying. I really like to have them separate. You decide how you want to work with them. So there's history. There's layers. Now we filtered the bottom layer. The one that is blue, that's the one that is active. That's the one we can edit. But now we want to change this one to make it look more like there's color on the comic book page. So I'm going to make it visible. See that little eye I'm clicking on? Okay, I want it visible. But I can't change it now because it's not blue. I have to click over in this area and make it the selected layer. This is the bottom layer selected. Now the top layer is selected by clicking in this area. If you click on the name, it wants to change the name. So make sure you don't click on the name for now. You just click in this area over here. Now we're going to play with filters once again. Remember, we have a toolbox, we have windows, and we have the menus up at the top of the page, or the, excuse me, the screen. Um, each one of these has commands on them. Menus have commands that tell the computer to do something for you. It's like here I'm working like old school. I'm using tools to do it. Over here I'm letting the computer work for me and do some things for me. So I'm going to go this time to artistic. Excuse me. I want to go to, yeah, artistic and choose. I'm pausing. That's me. Dead time. Cutout. And cutout's going to give me a different filter. It makes it look like it's all made out of little cuts of paper, right? Remember, you can make this smaller. What I want to do is get rid of some of the colors. So I'm changing the numbers. Look at that. I'm getting it less and less. There's not a lot of colors in color books, but I do want to be able to recognize the face. Ooh, there's that eye behind the glasses. I like that look. Simplicity. Edge simplicity means do you want to get rid of the edges um, or make them very follow the photograph? If you take it up higher, you're simplifying the edges. Oh my gosh, I got an abstract picture. Can't even see that face. So I'm going to take it back down till I can see the face. Edge fidelity. Oh, that's I love this word fidelity. Fidelity. If you have fidelity in your marriage, nobody's cheating on you. If somebody is breaking the fidelity, they're cheating in the family. So if I take this up, it doesn't have a big change. It makes the edges truer to the photograph. If I take it down, you might not even see it in this one, but it changes and makes the edge simplified. I kind of like it simplified. There we go. And say OK. Now, how do I get these two pictures together? Up here on the layers window, there's a button here that says normal on it. If you click and hold, you come up to blending modes, how to blend two layers together. It's kind of like making one layer transparent or mixing the colors from one layer to another layer. So I'm going to play around with these. Here's dissolve. Oh, no change there. Let's try darken. Ooh, that's something I might like to use. How about multiply? Oh, I don't even see much of a change there. Color burn. Oop, it goes all away. Let's go down to overlay. Any change there? No. So I'm going to play around with this until I get the colors that I like, and I'm done. Vivid light. No. Nope. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me try another one. Um, pin light. Ooh, look at that. Limnolates a lot of colors, but I kind of like the look of that. I kind of got this gross face, but this friendly, happy color. What are you going to choose from the blending modes? Okay. Bye bye.